Da jia hao. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to type on a MacBook and it's really straightforward. You open up System Preferences, then you click on Keyboard, then you go to Input Sources and you'll see British is already selected or American English if you're in America. Then you add Plus and you scroll through on the left till you come to Chinese, Simplified. Unless, of course, you perhaps want to write something for a Taiwanese person or someone living in Hong Kong or somewhere where they use traditional characters still. So simplified, pinion simplified, that's the one you need, and you add it. While you're about it, you could just for fun also go back and add the trackpad handwriting, which is just fun to play around with as well. But mainly you're going to need the other one, the pinion simplified. So once you've got that, it's really easy, you can just go straight into a Word document, and at the top right of your screen, you'll see the little Union Jack. And if you click on that, you can then select Pinyin above the British. Okay. And you then can type, for example, what shall I say? I could say hello. <gasps> oh, but hello is English. So it comes out as I have drank, I have drunk something. So obviously we need to write Ni hao. And I could then just say, it's really intuitive. You can write more than a couple of characters. You could say, for example, um, 你爸爸叫什么? Slightly odd question to ask in an email, but you see, you get the gist of how, how easily this, um, it intuits what you want to say. And the great thing about having set it up is that you can toggle between English and Chinese so easily. You just um, press the command key and the space bar. And that takes you straight back to English. And then if you do the same again, it takes you um, straight back to Chinese. Zaijian. Maybe it is time to say Zaijian. Although I'll just quickly show you this trackpad business. Um, if I select at the top again, show trackpad handwriting. It just basically means you can use your finger on the trackpad itself. So I could say, I could type um, doesn't look very nice on the screen. <laughs> and it's easiest when you're doing this to look at the trackpad because it's like it's a bit of paper. So ni shi shei. And then if you move it, if you move your finger to the very top of the trackpad, you can then press randomly at different regions and try to get the bit that you typed. And then to get out of the trackpad mode, just press any key and then you can close it down. So, ni shi shei. There you go. Uh, so, have fun with that and really easy to do. And it's never going to be the same again now that you can type Chinese. Zai